Leicester City is back to the Premier League, but can they do the impossible and write another fairy tale story? I'm going to lead them to the Premier League glory with the help of Riyad Mahrez, Angolo Kante, and of course Jamie Vardy. We will force them to retire, sign their regions, and build the team around them. But it won't be easy to win trophies with this team. I mean, we have young Danish goalkeeper in Hermansen. He reminds me of Kasper Schmeichel, who was the part of the 2016 success. We obviously got Ndidi, Dewsbury Hall, but nothing special, even Fatawu. Young Ghanaian right winger is only on loan in Leicester. And we'll have only 5 seasons to create an amazing squad. And even the regions will not guarantee us the superstars in the squad, as newly generated player will most probably have exactly the same potential as the original player. And in case of Morris it is 86, for Angolo Kante it is 85, but for Jamie Vardy it is only 76, that's not a Premier League level. Anyways, let's simulate 23-24 season, we are in the start of 24-25 season, all of them should already be retired, so let's sign their regions. Starting with Masmoud Ibrahim, 74 rated Algerian right mid slash right winger. It was fairly easy to find Riyad Morris's region, he is 20 years old, has 4 playstyles and has 86 potential, exactly the same as for Riyad Mahrez. Next player is Jules Michel, he is Angolo Kante's region, 74 rated as well, 19 years old, CDM slash center midfielder, but he has 86 potential, one more than Angolo Kante's potential. It was a little bit harder to find Jamie Vardy's region, but I believe we found one who perfectly fits the criteria. He is Tyler Cook, 71 rated, 20 years old, 5 star skill moves, 6.5, in this means he's quite opposite of Jamie Vardy. He has 76 potential, exactly the same as Jamie Vardy's. Let's hope that he can perform well enough to hit the dynamic potential. We also got two talents found in Argentina during scouting the whole season in the championship. Herman Calvo, center midfielder, we are going to convert him to a center attacking midfielder. But the exciting prospect is Borja Silva, 66 rated already, he has good pace and shooting capabilities, insane physical for 17 years old kid, but the striker position will be occupied by Tyler Cook, so we are converting him back to defense. He can come handy for us, especially because of his potential. He has 92 potential. We are going to loan him out this season. So let's take a look at the team. Surprisingly, Ibrahim will be a starter. Kes Fatabu left after his loan spell ended. But Tyler Cook and Jules Michel will be on the bench. We are using 4-3-3 holding formation. Pretty much hope that we are not going to be relegated in the end of this season. And we successfully survived relegation. 16th place with only 39 points, minus 17 goal difference. Anyways, we managed to stay in the Premier League for one more season. Manchester City won the league with 92 points. Emirates FA Cup goes to Aston Villa. We were out in the fourth round. Newcastle beat us 2-1. Carabao Cup goes to Manchester City. We made it to the quarterfinals but lost to Preston. And the winners of the Champions League are Inter. They won over Barcelona 4-2 on penalties. And in terms of individual stats, Kelechi Iheanacho, 13 goals and 2 assists. And wow, 13 goals in 34 games from Tyler Cook from the bench. I was not expecting that much of involvement in his first season. He is already 74 rated. That is great. Masmut Ibrahim with 12 and 13. He is already 78 rated. Great season from him as well. Jules Michel, 32 games, 1 goals and 3 assists. He is now 77 rated. And Borja Silva is also developing on his loan spell at Birmingham City. Overall, we can take this season as a success because we survived Premier League and hopefully next season we can end up in the top half of the Premier League table. We're starting the second season with strengthening the squad. First signing will be João Mario, a right back from Porto. We paid 20 million pounds for his transfer. He is 80 rated, 25 years old, still developing. He will be our first choice right back over Ricardo Pereira. Next, we sign a center back, Parachures. We paid 25 million pounds to Torino for 81 rated center back. He is 25 and still developing. Hopefully, he can lead our defense in upcoming four seasons. We also sold Wilfred and Didi. We got good cash on him. And of course, Jules Michel will have much more playtime. We sold Bobby Thomas as well to Coventry for 5 million pounds. But the main signing of the transfer window will be Emil Smith Rowe. 30 million pounds paid for him to Arsenal. He is 24 years old, 80 rated, 84 potential on him. Hopefully, he can revive his career in Leicester. We signed one more player for squad depth Morgan Whitaker from Plymouth Argyle for 5 million pounds. We added Joao Mario Schurz and Emil Smith Rowe directly to the first 11. Michel will be our main CDM starting from this season. Meanwhile, Tyler Cook with Cherry's playtime with Kelechi. 
here in Nacho. I hope that we didn't have to secure top half finish. We sadly didn't manage to do that. We ended up the Premier League season in the 14th place with only 42 points. Not a big improvement compared to the previous season. Manchester City won the Premier League again, but this time with only 82 points. Emirates FA Cup also goes to Manchester City. We were out in the 6th round from Liverpool, but instead we had a dream run in Carabao Cup, knocking out Nottingham Forest. Then we beat Spurs 2-1. In the 4th round we were matched up against Arsenal and we beat them as well. And we were better than even Liverpool. We beat Brighton in the semi-finals and yes we won the whole thing. 3-2 victory against Fulham. First trophy for Leicester in this rebuild. Manchester City complete the treble they won against Real Madrid in the Champions League final. And in terms of goals it is actually Emil Smith Rowe with 19 goals and 3 assists. 15 and 3 from Kielechi Ihenacho. And good season from Tyler Cook once again. 11 goals and 2 assists in 32 games. He went up by 4 in his rating and he surpassed his initial potential. But instead Masmut Ibrahim had a stinker of a season. Only 6 goals and 1 assist. That's nowhere near good enough. And Jules Michel at 31 games. 4 goals and 2 assists. And look at the Borja Silva. He's 79 rated already. Next season he will be starter for us. By the way I got a job offer from Man United board. Maybe that Carabao Cup win is enough to work there. I don't know. Anyways please let me know in the comment section below if we should rebuild Man United. For season 3 we got 72 million pounds budget, that is actually great, it led us to good business in the market. And we started big by signing Alan Varela, Argentina central defensive midfielder from Porto, we paid 25 million pounds plus Harry Winks for his transfer. Next we signed Fabiano Parisi, Italian left back from Fiorentina, we paid 25 million pounds for him. The third transfer is actually from free agency, Fabio Costa, 72 rated Brazilian central defensive midfielder with 87 potential. He's most probably Casemiro's region. And last but not least, we have found Rainier in the free agency and signed him for squad depth. As you can see, we have changed our formation to 4-3-3 defend with two CDMs. We added Borja Silva, Fabiano Parisi and Alan Varela directly to the first team, as well as Tyler Cook, who has become guaranteed starter. So let's simulate this season and hopefully we can end up in a European football spot. We exceeded expectation by climbing up to the fourth place. That is a huge improvement from our team. We will will be in the Champions League next season. This time Arsenal won the league with 91 points. Emirates FA Cup goes to Aston Villa. We were eliminated by Villa in the semi-finals. Arsenal won the Carabao Cup. This time we made to the quarterfinals where we lost to Newcastle on penalties. The Champions League trophy goes to Milan and we were actually in the Conference League where we finished the group with 16 points. In the round of 16 we eliminated Family Sao but sadly we lost to Olympique Marseille in the quarterfinals. That's an impressive season from Tyler Cook, 34 goals and 1 assist in 52 appearances. Unbelievable progress from Jamie Vardy's region. He is already 82 rated and will definitely hit the dynamic potential as a result of this fantastic season. Great season from Alan Varela as well, 18 assists on his name. This season I want to improve two positions, starting from a right back as Joao Mario has stagnated in his development and I want a top talent in camp position for this team. So we signed Ebede Chiese, we paid 32 million pounds to Eintracht Frankfurt for his transfer. We also signed Pedro Porro from Spurs for 40 million pounds. Both of them will be starters in this team. We also signed Zeki Amdoni from Burnley for 10 million pounds as a backup for Tyler Cook. Every player on our squad is in mid 80 range. It was the right decision to put our trust in Hermansen. He's already 85 rated. Silva is catching up. He's 84 rated. And of course Tyler Cook is only 82 rated but he has already 86 potential. We created a team good enough to fight for every trophy. So let's simulate and see. We are again on 4th position in the Premier League with 69 points. Manchester City won the league again with 93 points. Chelsea won the FA Cup. Liverpool beat us in the 5th round. But instead we won the Carabao Cup 2nd time already. And let's check the Champions League. We were first in the group with Leipzig, Braga and Athletic. We passed Sturm in the round of 16. Then we eliminated Milan 3-1. We won against Leverkusen in the semi-finals. And we are in the Champions League final against Atletico. Madrid, we can win the Champions League from the first attempt, but no, sadly we lost, that could have been perfect. Anyways, that was a dream run in the Champions League from the first attempt. And all due to Tyler Cook. 43 goals and 6 assists. Massive season from our striker. Masmut Ibrahim finally delivered. 23 goals and 6 assists from him. 14 assists on Kieran Dewsbury Hall. He played more games than Eberechi Eze this season. This is interesting. And yeah, Tyler Cook absolutely cooked the Premier League. 
Yeah, yeah! He was the top scorer with 29 goals. Let's keep it simple. This season we need to win the Premier League and challenge the Champions League one more time. And the board is backing us with 200 million pounds transfer budget. But I don't think that we have any weak link in the first 11. That's why we are going to strengthen the bench and the reserves. Starting with Joao Gomes, 20 million paid for him to Wolves. Next we signed Ezri Consa from Aston Villa for 10 million pounds. Another center back, Leonardo Balerdi from Arsenal for almost 20 million pounds and also we signed Finn Demon as a backup goalkeeper from Newcastle for 7 million pounds. We signed two more players, Pedro Malero from Cadiz for around 21 million pounds as a backup for Pedro Poro and also a striker Artur Cabral from Bayer Leverkusen for almost 15 million pounds. Here you can see the squad after the transfer window. I'm very satisfied with the players. Hopefully Eberechi Eze can elevate his game this season and with the help of the players on the bench we can have a stellar of a season. And we absolutely did our best to win the Premier League and we succeeded 91 points, 13 points ahead of Manchester City. What a season from Leicester. Emirates FA Cup goes to Manchester United as well as Carabao Cup. In the Champions League we knocked out Paris Saint-Germain in a round of 16. Then we beat Juventus, Bayer Leverkusen in the semi-finals again and we are in the Champions League final. Back-to-back -back seasons facing another Madrid team. This time it is Real Madrid. But before jumping to that game, let's check the stats for our players. And of course, Tyler Cook with 38 goals and 4 assists. Finally, Masmut Ibrahim delivered big time. 37 goals and 17 assists. Ibrahim and Cook are the top scorers of the Premier League. And Eberechi Eze is the top assist provider. Let's end this fantastic season with a double. Can we win over Real Madrid? Yes we can, all penalties the most dramatic way. We made it happen, we won the Champions League with Leicester. We created an unbelievable team around the regions of the real heroes of Leicester.